hello hello and welcome back to my channel my name is charmaine if this is your first time visiting thanks so much for stopping by if it's not your first time visiting thanks welcome back today i'm going to be embroidering this beautiful afro puff girl on a shirt i am doing the um uh, uh, order right now so i'm going to get it together this is the skirt i already did the skirt already um i can show you briefly of how i did the skirt Basically, I had a piece of fabric. I'm gonna show you the fabric real quick. Bear with me. <laughs> okay, you just get, you basically just get a piece of fabric and you cut it your size. Here's a diagram that I use. So basically, if you are doing, a, um, uh, let me see what how many, this is. If you're doing a 12 month, you want the um, length to be, the finished skirt to be the 7.25. And then the waist size would be 19 inches. And then the skirt to be 9.25 by 3.8, which I can try it up to 40, it's easier. And then 18 elastic, okay? And I use the three, four elastic, okay? So I can just sit this here if you wanna screenshot this. This is how I do my skirts, it's very, very easy. So go ahead and screenshot that if you want to, if you can, or copy or paste or whatever, how you wanna do it. I'm gonna sit this here for a little while. So it tells you all the sizes from three months all the way to 12, okay? And it has, like I said, the finished um, skirt length right here, the uh, fits weight, I mean, the uh, waist size, the skirt, and the elastic, okay? It's, this is a very easy, easy skirt to make, y'all. I'm serious. This is so easy. This is a beginner suit uh, skirt. So let me show you. So if I wanted to do a, um, a 2T, I would have to basically do 11 by 40, okay? So this is, this is 22 right here. It's already 40 because it's folded in. So this is really like 44 because it's folded. Okay, so this would be perfect. So what I would do is cut it on a 20 to make it 40 because um, you want it 40 inches. So it will be 40 inches after I open it up because it's already 20. So what I do, I would cut it right here, cut it down this line right here. And it's, easy, it's better to use the rotary cover, cutter because it'll have a straight cut or you can use scissors if you cut straight on with scissors. 11 is right here. So I will cut this going across like this. Okay, so I get my ruler and I'm gonna show you the best way to cut it. Let me get my ruler real quick. So this is the ruler I would use to make it cut, to make it even. So I cut it, I line up at the 11 right here. Okay, straight across. And I use my rotary cutter and I cut it straight across like this, okay? And then basically this would be, if I cut it, if I cut this down here, it'd be 11 inches. Like right going down this way. And then it's gonna be 22 inches wide. Cause you wonder why? Because with the pussy, when you put the elastic in it, it's gonna um, shrink up like this. See, this is the 12 inch right here. This is a 12, month right here and see how you put the elastic in and tightens up around the waist okay so for this right here this size came out to be for a 12 month this is a 9.5 by 38 which is you know i just round it up to 40 okay for 12 months so i um so then the, the last right now it'll be 7.25 inches i'll show you about 7.25 inches yep it's close enough see how long it is at the, the finished skirt okay so this is for a 12 month, okay? And then this one is a 2T that I just did today. That's going with this little skirt that I make, little shirt that I'm making today. The, the finished length will be, it's about a nine, okay? And this is for a two. So it's a two inch, see, and it's stuffed at a nine. So it's perfectly. And then like I said, this waist, I cut this 11 by 40. So this is folded, so this is 22. So the folded is 40. So most of them, is, you know, always almost about 40 inches wide for the waist okay okay so it, it, with that being said all you have to do basically is what i did is basically i open the skirt like this the fabric like this i open it up like this this fabric if you cut it the fabric right here you open you basically fold it like this and then you serge this i serge this inside right here to make the clothes to close it up i serged it and then you just basically fold this in one point one fourth inch in and then you basically fold it again, one fourth, and then you just sew it. I did the two sews because it was still too long, so I just went ahead and folded it a little bit longer. So I did two two stitches around, but you only can do one. You only had to do one, but I just wanted to make it shorter because it was too long. But what you do is just fold it under like this, fold the fabric under like this, and then fold it one more time like this. And then you just basically sew it. You see the stitch right there. And then it's just, and you, you're done with that. That's done, okay? And you come up here, and you fold this one-fourth inch, and then you do a half inch, and then you sew it. 
with the sewing machine, okay? And then you basically see, keep a space open. I put my space right here, keep it open. Cause that's why I put my tag in anyway. So I keep the space open and you basically just thread the elastic through there. I use a 3.4 elastic. And then you basically just, um, as you put the elastic through there, you sew the elastic and then you sew this part up with your, with your tag. And that's it. That's easy as peasy. It's so easy. So if you want me to, if you want to show me, the only thing, I, only thing you're missing out is me sewing it with the sewing machine. But I showed you step by step on how to do it, okay? You just basically sew the um, elastic, um, the place where you put the plastic and you sew this, you know, so you can put the elastic inside here. You sew the seam and you seal it. You, 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 um, and you don't have to, if you don't have a surgery, you can just sew this too, but I have a surgery. You see how the surgery has a clean, a clean stitch. So I just serge that up. Okay. And that's the only part I use a surgery for. The rest of it, I use my sewing machine. I have a basic sewing machine. I have a brother's. Let me show you how real quick my sewing machine look like. Okay. Here's my sewing machine. It's basic. Okay. It's a basic, um, cheap little sewing machine that i got from um i think hobby lobby it's the sm7200 you can get anything you can get any kind of machine you want though but this is what i have in my serger here's my serger basic i got this from walmart very cheap i think it was like hundred something dollars too i love it okay it's a lock 10 34 dx and it's also a brother okay and you basically take your piece of fabric right here you just fold it in half evenly you cut it to the size you want it then you turn it inside out then you sew sew this part closed right here if you cut this part off you cut it then you, you basically serge this together open it back up you fold it in fold it fold it in so you can get your seams sew your seams then you sew your hem i mean you sew your um your little I can't think of what it's called, y'all. I'm gonna do beginner sewing, but it's something. It's it called this something. <laughs> then you put the uh the elastic in here. I gotta cut this thread. I'm glad I looked at this. I gotta cut this thread. Make sure you call your th cut all your threads. But you basically seal a casing. There it is, a casing for your elastic, and then elastic could bring it closer, and it's what fit the child, and it's all done. That's it. It's so simple, y'all. And it's not even that much material you have to use. Okay, not that much material at all. Okay, this this piece of material can be used to make like a three T, because it's um. Well, let me see. The 3T is a uh, 20 by 41. So this is 20 this way. No, this is 41 this way. So that'd be okay because you got to, it's closed. So that's 40. And then it's, it go down to the, the 3T is all the way to a 12. So yeah, it's enough to make a 3T and go up because it's all over. You can go all the way to 17 because it's 17 inches high and length. Okay. So I hope I didn't confuse y'all. If y'all want to see me do it all the way, like the only thing I do is sew now. The sewing part is the only show, part I didn't show you. So I can show y'all that if y'all want me to see, if y'all want to see that. So just let me know if you want to see a video on how to sew up a skirt. Easy, easy skirt. Okay, so back to this right here. Basically, this is the girl I'm going to be doing. I got this from Etsy. I don't know what side I got it off of, but this you can put an Afro Puff Girl PS for um, embroidery files and just put, um, put that in your Etsy and it should pop up, okay? So what I did was this hoop size is a, let me see, the seven by seven. I'm gonna use the seven and a half by seven and a half mighty hoop. So right here, this hoop size is, uh, I'm going to my little thing right here. This is, I'm going to be using the hoop size of, let me see, 7.5 by 7.5, apply. Okay, so that's what the size this is. And her size is a 5.34 by seven, that's what size she is, okay? So I already saved everything, everything is saved. And it basically tells you every here, if you ever, I'm using a brilliance software. If you ever used it, it tells you all the things that's gonna be going on right here. Where it's gonna be um, printing out, I mean, uh, stitching out first, her um, outline, her skin, her bow, her shirt, her Afro puff, her, I don't know what that is. But I'll let y'all see in a minute. And then her bow and her outline her bow. I think that's it. Let me show y'all how it looks when how it's gonna stitch out. Take this little go right here to this little marker right here. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of shaky. Catching the cold, I think. Kind of chilly down here. So I push this over. And you can see how it's gonna stitch out. See, the first thing it's gonna stitch is that. It's gonna be her white, brown skin, pink bow, and her gold. But I'm gonna change that to red. That shirt's gonna be changed to red. So I'm put red where the gold is at. Um, then I'm put the black hair and her bow gonna be gold. Her gold is, her bow is gonna be gold to match the little polka dots on the skirt. That's the reason why I did that. So the bow is gonna be gold and the shirt is gonna be red. And I'll go from there. Look at that, y'all. This is how it's gonna stitch out. Isn't that cute? Oh, that's the outline of the bow. That's a different color. 
the darker pink. I'm gonna just use the one gold color. Isn't she beautiful? So I'm gonna show you the shirt that I already made. That's in my on my on my um site. That's why I have, this is a this is a new order I have to make. But I have one on my site that I'm gonna show you real quick that I did already. Okay, here she is. Isn't she beautiful? So I said the gold bow and the red shirt, red lips. This is how I'm gonna do it. But this is was a sample. I really have to tell y'all this. I'm gonna tell y'all this anyway. This is a sample I made, and I use it as a sample because it's kind of messed up. I don't know if I end up if I end up stretching her head or her whole face. I mean, I think I stretched her and I shouldn't have stretched her. When you have an embroidery file, do not stretch them because they would not, um, they would not stitch out right. See right here, it was like a, see right here, it's a line right here. So I have to put some, basically I have to put some, um, some ink. I have to put a marker here because it was some, it was like a lot of stuff showing, okay? So maybe I stretched her and don't stretch your images because it will show. See right here, it's, it's out of balance right here. So don't stretch your image. Make sure you had the right image. You see how I messed up right here? That's ink right there. So I messed up a little bit. I took a picture of this so on my site so you really can't tell far away that this is messed up. But it looks pretty good. Like I said, be careful. Do not stretch your image because it will not work out for you. So here's my whole image right here. Here's my whole outfit. Here's the whole outfit. This is what I made already. This is a size 2. This is a size 12 month. And today I'm making a 12 T. Okay. Today I'm making a 2 T. This is the skirt. And we're going to work on that shirt. Here's the shirt right here. Okay, so then what I did was just I just basically put the shirt in here. I already have a video on how to put a shirt inside the Mighty Hoop, so you can check that video out. Okay, so now I'm going to put this 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 um shirt on my machine, and I do have the Entrepreneur 6.7. I have the Entrepreneur PR 670. I'm go ahead and put this on machine. I'm gonna start it up. I'm gonna show y'all how to get it together. Okay, this is the machine right here. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is go ahead and put this um, tearaway stabilizer under here. Um, before, I only used one thin piece of tear like, stabilizer, and since that hair, this hair is really dense. It's a lot of thread, okay? And I think that's maybe that's a problem, too, that I had. It was really, it's, it's a really lot, of, it's a lot of hair there, a lot of thread there. So I'm going to try to go ahead and double this and, and see if it works this time. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But if it does, I'm going to go ahead and go with it. But I'm, I'm fold, I folded it in half, so it's, it's a tearaway piece of stabilizer. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. So what I need to do now is go to the little, you see this little thing right here, the little wand. You push on that so you can make sure all the colors are the same. So in this little diagram right here, it tells you what's going to be um, stitched out first. So these are her eyes, so it's going to be white, okay? And then the next thing, you push it on here, so number two is white. My number two is white. I even put little numbers on here so I can know. So black is one, two, three. Okay, black is one. Um, the white is two, three, four. It's the brown, five, and six. Okay, so those are all the colors we have. So I'll go ahead and go here to one. So white is two, that's done. Brown is uh, number four. I'm gonna go ahead and change that to four. So I'm gonna push that button right here and see it changes to four. So now it knows it goes three or four, okay? Uh, her bow is going to, let's go ahead to this. Her bow is going to be gold. So this is the one I, hmm, this is the one I already did. already the colors already changed okay so um six yes that's six is gold so that's right so red is going to be five we change it to five okay and then black is one so that's already one uh let me see what that is black again so i'm gonna put that for one and then this is gonna be red i'm gonna put that for her this is gonna be red too I put her dips red on the other one. Let me check. Yeah, her lips is gonna be red. I make her lips pink. Her lips gonna be pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and put because it's a little girl, so we have to have red lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and put pink. So that's number three. Okay. And then six, which is gonna be the outline of the bow, is black. So black is number one. I'm gonna push one. So now it's one right there. Let's see this go down, and that's it. Okay, there we go. Okay. So it says it's gonna be 74 minutes. Good Lord, it's a long time. 74 minutes. So of course I won't have this whole shirt on here showing you the whole 74 minutes, but I'm gonna show you bits and pieces of the shirt as I go, okay? So everything is set and we're gonna get this shirt started. I'm gonna go ahead and push okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and push um, lock. And now when that said green button is ready, I already made sure the, if the frame was on there, I made sure that it's gonna fit, so everything's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and push go. And this, 
see it go. I'm going to show you the progress. I got the skin done. Now I'm going to go with both. Okay? So this is what it's looking like now. The skin is done. Her face and her hands. We got 11 minutes for the bowl. Okay, right here. Uh, so now we pass the stitching. And then 10 minutes. Okay? Uh, 74 minutes. We got a while to go. We're going to come back. I'll show you how to get the bowl. But I folded this one, this one over here to make it um, thicker. So hopefully it don't do this. We'll see. If it does do this again, I'm going to contact the digitizer, the person I want to have the image from, because it should do this. Oh, but you know what? I think I got this digitized. I think I've seen this image on Etsy as a PNG, and I got it digitized. And I think that's what I did. So I'm going to check out my digitizer to make her fix it. It's not going to work. I think that's my fault. I think I got this size. But it might, I gotta check and see. So it might be on Etsy. And if not on Etsy, then I just it's gotta be the myself. But that's the problem. So this, this probably was just a PNG file that I digitized. I got digitized. So if you're looking for digitizer, just go on fiber.com and you can be able to check and find out. Uh, just put in digitizer for embroidery file and you can find your own. I think I think they have. Um, I got all the other shoes and they put it here. Okay? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stick out. See how it is the shirt. And that's okay to have a white spot right there because it's gonna be a black outline. Put all that white spot you see. Alright, so I'll be back. Okay, see how the echo plus is coming along? It's a lot of thread. It's doing much better than it did before. So I guess it's good to go ahead and double that stabilizer when you use a lot of thread so it won't sink into the shirts. So I'm coming along. Now we need 17 minutes with that black. We need 42 minutes. We need 74 minutes. So we get it together, y'all. So I'm going to only got to get the other apple puff and then the outline. There we go. Okay, it's almost done. Let's do an outline with the bow. There we go. Yes, we need to do the same thing we did last time. So I'm going to figure out how to get this type of over again. And we'll do the same thing. So I'm going to get that fixed for my next shirt. I'm going to do another shirt before I do another shirt. So let's do an outline and I'll be back after it's fully done. 